blah 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 disclaimer stuff I don't know if you've read it before but like it's here anyway yada yada okay on with the video now welcome back to something that isn't portal <laughs> yeah you needed a bit of a break from the um so the puzzle like the late game puzzles were fine right but it's um you know some of the puzzles are a bit tricky we have there's apparently a setting for content warnings so we put that on We've also put on uh, reduced motion, which basically, you know, for those motion sensitive people that might be watching, there's less like shaking and bobbing going on. Because, you know, we think about you sometimes. <laughs> Should we get in? Mm hmm. Hopefully the volume's alright. I've set everything down a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it is and we'll tweak from there. Yeah? This mm -hmm. is a story of a man named Stan. This is a story of a man named Stan. He does narrate. Stanley worked for a company. Stanley worked for a company. He's going to read it for him. <laughs> You can turn the writer off if you, want, if you just want to read it. No, okay. <laughs> I'd lose my voice in no time at all. And he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, <laughs> and in what order. Press pass I on your keyboard. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. <laughs> And although others Sorry. might have considered it so doesn't mean you have to do it. Stanley <laughs> <managed> <laughs> <every moment laughs> every I just wanted to see if it did anything. As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. If you heard And then one day oh, something very Instagram. peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Pure but as he silence. came to his wits and regained yeah, his senses, we can't, we can't hear anything. he got up from his desk and stepped out of his Hopefully office. Hopefully we are louder than the narrator so you can hear us. Oh, we're in. Alright, uh, okay. The wah. So apparently, if I just close the door... But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Oh, he you're going for a um, coward. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. So this couldn't go anywhere except badly. What's talk the about thing to do now, wait. Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will Pass be happy. Glass. Stanley waited. <laughs> Hours <laughs> passed. Did you want some clearly the meat? Had years yeah, gone by? He no longer Let's had the ability to tell. Oh well. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, <sighs> the answers would come. That's not the time we Eventually, said. someday, they would arrive. No. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be Where spoken to. He will be told what to do. I can't zoom in. Now it's just <gasps> a you little can't bit zoom closer. In. Recommendations. Now it's even closer. From Here the underworld. Yeah, totally. Overnight communities, I think that said. <laughs> Alright, okay, that's, that's the first ending. That's the coward ending, everybody. I hate Mondays, so don't we all? Okay, so... Wasn't there an ending where you had to click something like 150 times? I don't think it's 150 times, but under, you're on about door... Oh, what the... F door... Four Ferguson, is it? Gone. What this one? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps there is a door. Simply a you are right. It's for an achievement. I don't think it's for an ending. No matter how hard Stanley oh. looked, he couldn't oh. find a trace of his co-workers. If you see a PC that's on, let me know. Because there is an ending relating to... Turned on computers. Got it. There's one. Can I interact with that one? Yes, I can. Awaiting input, that's the ones you need to do. These ones, these ones that say awaiting input. You, you just need you just need to do it once. And there'll be different ones each time. Aren't you gonna turn that one off? Can I turn that one off? That's a good question. I can. I don't think you need to switch them off. I think you just I've doubled back on myself, I can't remember where I was going now. This way. <laughs> okay.
cells in this corner. Uh -huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open the door doors, the he left. entered the door on his left. Did you want the door on the left? Yeah, go for it. Wait, is this this is left, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have to think for it. I'm sorry. I'm getting there. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up hmm. to his boss's hmm. office, hoping he might find that an answer there. Do not alter that board manager. Standalone graph 40 VX wide. Please keep targets on the topic of <coughs> redacted. Who moved my desk? <laughs> Using slides to. Okay, I was reading that, but alright. Everyone is unique. In fact, we have our new product graphs about things and money. <laughs> Number of slides on this slide. Okay, I'm probably not going to show you this because we might be here for a bit. But apparently if you wait here long enough, he's just like, oh god, no, please stop, no more slides. There it is. <laughs> please, no more slides, I'm begging you. Stop. <laughs> the broom closet. Well, yes, isn't this no, maybe. Isn't there something tied to this? Yes, there is. There are technically two things tied to this now. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There's a lovely broom in the broom closet. Look at that. Amazing broom. There was nothing here. This no is the lamp make, thing. No path to follow, just an empty broom closet. Oh, uh, no yeah, reason to that. still be here. That texture on the cardboard box. Oh. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. I'm doing something, I'm staring at the duct tape. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because it's fun. Are all of these endings going to be silly? You do realize I don't know, there's actually. no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said stand I think some of them were quite past um, the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. I can't think of the word. <laughs> because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. I think it's supposed to be like a metaphor on like mm. life. Basically. Yes, the broom like closet. This, this entire game is just like a metaphor on life. Mm, yes, what is the broom Maybe closet? When you and talk about this with your friends, it's branch and path, man. Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? One XD. The broom closet <laughs> ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical melody oh my of some God. sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. <laughs> you collapsed on the keyboard. When in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your oh, body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. The They're person fallen prey to a number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long term there some kind of sustainability of your species. Please remove their force the from the area oh. and instruct another human to take their oh. place, making sure they understand basic first person video game mechanics and filling them okay. in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. 
so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not Didn't lost on them. Mm -hmm. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Oh, broom closet. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. You too. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? A fish fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. Mm. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> I think you actually physically have to come out now. Yeah. Let's carry on. He does get that fed up with it, he bolts it up later. Come up or down, dear? Stanley uh, walked upstairs to his boss's so office. Okay. There is, I think, a secret here somewhere. <gasps> a secret? Amazing. It might be later on. A piece of paper. Ooh, a piece of candy. Hi, Leeds. Yeah, I can't read that. I all. wrote this in first period. Something. Yeah, I can barely read that. It might be later, or it might be a different set of stairs. But I know there's a secret here somewhere. But Stanley just couldn't secret. do it. Content warning: This section contains themes of mental illness. You may hold F to skip the complete he had left the ending. His post during work hours. Mm. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? That's fine. I don't All think it's that. he believed everyone uh, had vanished. His boss would think he was yeah. crazy. And then something hmm. occurred to I think it's kind of like maybe psychosis. Himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment. For I don't no think it's inherently like really bad or anything, sense. this ending, but you know. Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange circles. There's a reason we are going around in circles. Why couldn't he see his dizzy. feet when he looked down? Oh, I'm going the other way. I'm trapped. Him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley uh, said to himself, this is all too now. strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream! Getting dizzy now. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt <laughs> to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't oh, going to go on for. He wasn't crazy It's almost like it's some... And he thought to himself, a circle. I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go okay. back to my boring Does real life yeah, job pushing buttons. I may Ab. as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself Hold flying we'll get to him. and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so hmm, okay. much fun. And Stan I'm in space. that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself soon. I'm getting the call. Why is there <laughs> a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's no, asleep, asleep, he doesn't what are you have talking to about? take responsibility for it? Stanley oh, is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, Cold he drink. knew for certain, beyond Hell a yeah. doubt, that this was in I fact won't. a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make die. the magical stars just a moment purple. ago? I'm a How else would the voice explain Give all that? Purple. I this want it. voice was a part hmm. of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just Delicious. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. 
Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want my is Stanley my has life, a life exactly the way it's always been. Yeah, ma'am. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Ah. Stanley began screaming. Stanley began screaming. Please, ah! Someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a My life is a lie. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. I'm going to take all your paintings. Who am I? Who I'm going am mad. I? I'm getting the rage again. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. This is Everyone quite funny when you redo it later. Look like. And in that moment, she I won't give you spoilers because you haven't played this, but to be normal. you can do I this ending saying, later, but it's different. I, am in of my mind. <coughs> I know what is real <coughs> and what is not. him again? It was <sighs> comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. <laughs> the end is loading. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, we're back here again. Stanley decided wait, to go wait, to the wait, wait. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace okay. of his co-workers. Cool. What are we doing this time? Hmm. Ah, full 20. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. I'm gonna touch it anyway. Oh, you missed two. That's what I did. And then there's one in the other corner. Ah, yes, this is the important one. It's for an ending. <gasps> okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, there he entered the door again. on his left. We're going up to the boss's office this time. Mm hmm. Mess up. No time to look Yet at your there was not a random graph. We zoom Feeling in. A wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might. Oh, <coughs> no. Oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy just doing help so much in this room. Nope. Please take your time. Oh, what am I called? <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's go. Ah. A staircase, Stanley walked I know the passcode to this door. Office. So if you want, I can get a silly little dialogue with... Um... Ah, there's actually another ending here. The executive bathroom. I get a feeling money is for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say that's a nice purse. <laughs> Ooh, snazzy. Oh, computer. Yeah, we can't do anything with that one. There we is can't. an ending we can do here if we're quick enough with these doors. Cook. Quick. Enough. Oh. 
with these doors? Did you want to try and get that ending now, or did you want to just go with the regular ending for this for this one? Uh, up to you. I'd like you to decide. I'm gonna try. Stepping into his manager's Damn office, it. <laughs> Sally was once again stunned. I think it's there anyway. Could be a bit later. Any human life. Right, I know the passcode for this, so I'm going Unraveled. to go. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated that Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Ah! I see. Oh my god. Yeah, if you do the passcode quickly, that's just like a little extra thing that he does for you. <laughs> Eventually he gets that fed up with it, he just, you know, you can just, uh... He just lets you through the door eventually. He's like, oh, I don't have time for this. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. The ending you it can was do a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Yeah, this question, never, would never go unanswered question would not go unanswered for long. question would not go unanswered for long. No, I want to go back up. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. All right, sassy. You can't go back down now. Oh. Oh no. No! Ah. <laughs> Let me back in. What's this way? Anything? Actual darkness? Uh -huh. Fine. I shall go back then. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. Yeah, it's a very pretty office. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that He's keen blank, eye for storytelling that you two, have. An incisive rapid fire of blank critical four, the return of the blanks. One after the other, <laughs> weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Yeah, let's go back down. Now he's getting back into the elevator and yeah, man. down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? That tickles. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Surely this oh. time Whoa. Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? No, I want to go back in the spooky elevator. <laughs> Did you think <laughs> riveting you were going con to go for content? <laughs> no. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I just can't the even begin to grapple with just what the might best be for you guys. There. Is it the boss's office? Yeah, again? man, you've just gone up and down an elevator for no particular reason. The suspense is killing me. Okay, fine. Yeah, I just wanted to, this office is just spectacular, man. Hmm. It's oh the most God. beautiful. It's the boss's office. Oh, piano. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I'm I process it. this. Oh, okay. <laughs>
Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. Oh, for goodness. <laughs> Are you sure this time? I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, right. Master Stanley. Of course. Okay. Going back down to the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of yeah, fresh man, the air best in a landscape <laughs> of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Oh. You keep giving me the options, man. If you're that fed up, just stop giving me the option, dude. No. I'm gonna do it. Ha ha! No. <laughs> They're having too much fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it just gets fed up with you in the end. I could be wrong. Hmm. You, know mm. what? you know what? Blow. I just thought of something. <laughs> Hold on, let's stop for a minute. Oh, I just thought of something. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation. Uh, I'm just stuck in the elevator standard. now. You and I, we have cool. no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? Yeah. Slow elevator. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel well, at the, we're the only character reveal. other than you. This a Mario. is storytelling, Stanley. Yeah. What you and I are and doing right now. <laughs> this is well, the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over dead, and over. By the way. Truly, mm, mystery, I, I mean man. This is unique so, and different. Uh, it's not like dead. anything else oh. out there. You see, I want stories that sing I me, Stanley. I want to have to think. With more I feeling. want to be engaged and not pandered ah. to. We're being fed so such feeling. unimaginative <laughs> drivel all the time. I'm tired of feeling, do not want to feel anymore. Why we're so starved for content. That makes us feel sharp and vital. You ever get that and your foot goes dead? Yes. That's why people like you so much, Dad. <laughs> and then you better half stop slapping the leg. In the face of tradition, you're a fool, <laughs> you know? People look up to you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. So that you can talk about your work it could be and worse. your storytelling and It could be actually, like, probably advice. something. Huh. Yes, I know you're not much oh, sorry, of a public eye, but I thought it would no, especially mean a lot to the people who oh. have been following you from the beginning. Sorry. They really look up to you, Stanley. We're still in this elevator. <laughs> if you realise the impact you have on them, wake up. this is the kind of gesture Listen. that might leave Listen. a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh good, we're here. Ah. Ooh. Very snazzy. Okay. I'd be much more impressed if my foot didn't have pins and needles. <laughs> oh, eyes on Stanley, ah. live on stage. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed. Salad. <laughs> Salad, yes. Salad. How do we do it? The pyramids. Put one rock on top of another. The guy who went to Mars. That doesn't look like Elon Musk. You lied to me. And so did that show. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, Death, Love and Robots? Hmm. An evening with the world peace, baby. Why do you seem like Onion articles? Ah, 
Yes. It's the only pair will stand you tonight, allow on stage. The world's first sentient machine. Oh, got to that. Where am I going? This way. To stage. Right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of Armand's surprise chair, gun, table, not bar. and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the Stanley, heart. Stanley, me, I'm dad, A6. Proud of you, Stan. Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard okay. trick in the parking lot. You're too cool. Good luck on stage, Rock. Get him. Break a leg, champ. Your boss. No one tells stories the way you do. I love the way you ride that elevator. <laughs> Right, let's go up to the stage. Yeah, let's go. The dude who came up with pizza. Hell yeah, man. I don't know who came up with pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bright lights, by the way. My Yay! Mm. The 2D people love me. Beans. <laughs> oh, I have feeling. I Isn't that Tomska to joke? It's like a little word from our sponsor. Beans. <laughs> okay, we're back in the building. Oh, should we actually try and go for the... If you want. How long has it been in here? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Pieces. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how Ooh. hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his do we, do we do B do B fax machine. No, we can't do anything with the fax machine. Quite Roughly about 30, 31. Oh, cool, blimey. Still got a little while yet then. Let's get, let's try and get the true ending then, shall we? Yeah. No, not yet. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yeah, there's new content the and then there's left. new new content. Yes. But I won't ruin the joke for people who haven't seen this yet. Yet there was not a single person here either. I may feel yes. a wave of disbelief. Ha! No! Decided to go up to Let me in! Office, Let me in! Find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley Shall walked we'll upstairs to his boss's right. office. We're walking upstairs to the boss's office. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, okay. what? <laughs> Drill by now, blah, blah, I think we all know the drill by now, blah blah blah, blah. secrets to be had, Stanley pushes buttons. Now I'm doing it, now I'm reading from the area. Okay. Right, no elevator tricks this time, let's go straight down. <laughs> if I timestamp this, this is going to be a pain to timestamp, but I, I, may, I might try. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door the, the mind red mind control, control facility. facility. Escape. Escape. We're escaping? Are we escaping? I'm pretty sure that's the true ending. Okay, fine. Let's escape then. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Are we still moving? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every yeah, opportunity well. to turn around and get back on track. At this point, we'll Stanley was making a conscious, anyway. concerted so effort to walk one. forward and willingly confront his death. Is there a true ending? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spoil. I thought it was just following the narrations. So. We. Oh yeah, roller coaster right As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no Wouldn't it be nice loss, to have a portal gun right about now? The eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this it's violent actually end. actually does look rather suspiciously like the portal life. little section. Farewell, Stanley. Huh? 
Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Haha. <laughs> the Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Don't. When every path you can walk is more bright light. for you long in advance, Why? death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, yes, all her. Places. <gasps> it's like a museum. Yes, it is the museum ending there. Oh yeah, there's um deleted lines down there. Spoilers. The freedom ending as it existed in beta. What was that? That's where we came in, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, wait. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. You can. Push escape and press quit. There's no way to beat this game. This game. <gasps> yeah, there is. It's called restart, man. Inception. Gameception. Stanley had never seen the office this bright. We got time yet. for one more in it. something. He hoped it was. 37. He hoped very we much. We might just be able to do a quick ending then. Or just quickly get to the last get to where we were before. <laughs> yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> yeah, there is actually a speed run achievement, but yeah. <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Seeing a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might come into a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door. There's input. There's input. I did say. Have a. What the heck is going on with the lights? What? I thought you couldn't access that one. What's this way? Have I... Has this door always been open? Yes, the stairs. Okay. <laughs> okay, this way it isn't. Nope, I think I might have done the uh, door thing. Okay. So let me guess we're stuck. Or do I have to go downstairs? I might have to go down the stairs. We'll go for the right door. Or? I don't actually know what I've done. Have I done the ending I thought I did, or? Because that door's closed as well. Yeah, so it must. Mm, okay. Did I accidentally an ending, or did I like? Soft lock. 
I'll tell you what we'll do real quick, actually. We'll go back. We'll go back, we'll go back. If I can remember how to do it, we'll do this one real quick. Real quick, folks. If I can go back. I changed my mind. <laughs> Alright, now I'm trying. Ah! Yeah, there's still an ending we can do. I'm pretty sure. Just trying to remember where exactly it is. Is it not here? Is it the first room? Yeah, it's the first room. Okay. Right, there is. I want to try and remember how to do it. There is. I have no idea what you're trying to do, folks. There's a way to do it. Oh. <laughs> ah! Right, okay. How do I... There's a way to do it. We try. There we go. Is it this window? Pretty sure it's this window. It's gotta be this window. Unless I've bugged myself. I think you might have bugged it. It's supposed to be a way to go out the window. I may have. I don't know what I've done. Okay, never mind. Um. <laughs> I don't actually know what I've. I don't actually know how I've done that. Okay, yeah, whatever. Did you want to just end it there? That I have no idea what I did there. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll try and do that in the next one. Because <laughs> I don't actually know what the heck I did there. Alright then. Alright then. Bye. Bye.